It is a dark age. A bloody age. An age of war. The gods are cruel, and we are their playthings. But this is no game. It is ceaseless war, with the old world its prize. Many seek the path to victory, but only one can stand glorious over all. From the Badlands come the orcs and goblins, a green tide of brutal creatures that must be stopped. In Sylvania, the dead rise again. The vampire camps march forth. The mighty dwarf kingdoms, long thought diminished, are resurgent under their high king. And at the old world's heart stands the Empire. Karl Franz must prove worthy of the Warhammer. Then there is chaos. It's corrupting, changing taint. Despoils all before it. Only the strongest will endure. War is upon us. It is unending. Hello everyone, my name is Terry Prism and welcome to Total War Warhammer. Now before we actually start, I want to make a couple things uh, clear. If you are looking for an expert uh, player at this, I'm not the guy you are looking for. If you are looking for uh, a guy who uh, knows uh, Warhammer lore completely, I'm not the guy. But if you want to see me try to play this, I hope you will enjoy it. Anyway, I've been a long time fan of Total War series and I kind of enjoy Warhammer lore too. But like I already said just a moment ago, I'm not expert in either one of them. Now, I was uh, asking around uh, my friends uh, which of uh, these factions I should uh, choose as my first one. Should I choose uh, the Empire one? Should I choose uh, Dwarves? Green skins? Or rather Vampire Counts? Or should I go with the uh, Warriors of Chaos? Uh, and... Uh, well... I got a kind of mixed results. Uh, oh, basically, green skins. I'm not going to play with them. It got only one. Actually, it got zero votes. Empire. It got uh, one vote. Warps uh, got uh, three votes. And Vampire Counts and Warriors of Chaos. Uh, they both uh, got. Uh, did I say. Yeah, about four votes uh, each of them, until uh, one of my friends broke that tie and uh, gave Warriors of Chaos uh, that last uh, vote. I'm not sure how this will go, but uh, let's see how... Let's see. I I used to paint these Warhammer figurines a long time ago. I tried to play it a little bit, uh, but then... Uh, my studies came in between there, and uh, I haven't really touched it since uh, Age of uh, Sigmar came and uh, basically destroyed the old world. 
Anyway, let's go with the Warriors of Chaos. And we got the choice of the three heroes. And even though I think uh, pre sequel the Magnificent would be quite uh, fun to play as, I'll uh, stick with the uh, faction leaders on all of these factions uh, for my playthroughs. Yes, you heard me right. I'm uh, planning to do let's plays of each of the uh, campaigns. But uh, let's go with the uh, Archon. Archeon is the Eversosen, the Lord of the End Times, the vessel through which the Dark Gods uh, will unite their followers and turn the whole world into a realm of chaos. The man who was to become Archeon was once a devout Templar priest of Sigmar, were in heart and deed. The priest uncovered a set of uh, heretical uh, manuscripts transcribed by one of the acolytes of the infamous uh, Necrodomo the Insane, a prophet who tore out his own eyes after having a vision of destruction of the world at the hands of Chaos. What Arkhan learned from these texts is unknown, but legend has it that uh, he uncovered a terrible truth which drove him into a screaming rage. Reacting the gods of the Empire, he burned down the temple around him and raged amongst the flames. He renounced his own name and swore he would not only give himself body and soul to Chaos, but also forge a new life as the scourge of the deluded fools who forced the Empire of Wolves gods. Sounds good. And he will uh, have campaign movement range bonus uh, plus 5% uh, for all characters and upkeep uh, minus, minus 10% uh, percent for Chaos Warriors and Chaos Knights units. Sounds good. Now, I'm thinking of uh, going with hard uh, difficulty since uh, I feel that uh, normal would be too easy, but uh, I'm not uh, that good of player that uh, I could uh, do it uh, in very hard or legendary. But anyway, let's just start this camping. Just quickly checking these settings, advice or help. Uh, let's keep it on minimal and... Okay, everything seems okay there. Let's just start this. The old world is weak. The mortal nations flounder in their own incessant and petty wars. Ignorant of what truly awaits in the north. I come before the mighty Archeon as a mere minion. For now, at least, the god's favored champion chooses to hear my advice. I pray to the dark powers that I do not fail him. Despite such a risk, I urge my master that now is the time to march south. The Northmen grow restless. We must harness that and send the tribes in a great tide southwards to flood the old world. Archeon himself, chosen of the gods, will lead the hordes of chaos as we despoil the lands of men and dwarfs. No soul, no matter how blackened or pure, shall see salvation. This will be fun. Like I was uh, telling earlier, I did uh, paint some of uh, these uh, miniatures a uh, few years back, and uh, one of uh, those armies I used to paint a lot was uh, Chaos itself. But um, since I, it's been uh, quite a while, I don't think I... I even uh, know how to play anymore. Not to mention uh, that the uh, Age of Sigmar that came out. Yeah. Not... Uh, doesn't really sound fun. From what I read and heard.
But uh, what uh, I personally know about Arkhaun, well, uh, he basically represents uh, Chaos Undivided. Uh, basically, Chaos is uh, for it. Uh, Chaos, uh, for us of Chaos, uh, for it uh, four gods. Nurgle, that's god of uh, disease and sickness, I think. Then there was uh, Slanes, kind of uh, pleasure god. Then there was uh, Change, Lord of Change, my favorite one. I have to admit I enjoyed it. You him are the ever most. chosen. The Chaos Gods call you to action, mighty champion. Their lust and for ruin must of course, be sated. There's a horn. You shall go into the lands the of the mortals down. to spread fear and destruction. The Norse tribes to the west shall fall easily before you. Find those willing to join your cause and slay the rest. Further to the south lie the nations of men. They will resist your advance, and for good reason. You will bring them annihilation, mighty lord. Devour the mortal souls to bring the favor of the Chaos Gods. March forth, and spread oblivion in their name. Chaos is uh, also interesting in that uh, it uses a uh, horde mechanic uh, and uh, let's... I, uh, I'll have to be honest here, I haven't uh, played uh, anything like that before. Even though I do have played uh, some of the uh, previous Total War titles uh, too, but uh, all of them uh, I have played uh, only had uh, those settlements uh, so far, since uh, I kind of skipped Attila myself and uh, if I if I know, remember correctly, it was the only one uh, that had this Hortka mechanic. Anyway, objective uh, is the bone. All uh, are bones of chaos. All must serve. Do as the dark god to switch this and begin the destruction. Thus is the way prepared for the end times. Raise or sack four different settlements. Total favor plus two thousand. Okay, let's check out our army. So we have uh, Archeon itself, then uh, we got one uh, unit of Chosen, three units of Chaos Warriors, couple of Chaos Marauders, and uh, one unit uh, of Chaos Warriors with Halbred, Halberts, then few Marauder Horsemen and Chaos Warhounds, and uh, unit of Chaos Bone. Okay, and looks like there's first settlement over there, but I think we are only going to move this far so we can set up camp and uh, hire some more units before we assault that last that uh, settlement there. Or so can we build something? First. Hmm. Nothing that we don't already have uh, with that, but uh, we can upgrade this uh, into this nomadic camp into tribal gathering. Less upkeep cost for our units and uh, increased uh, recruitment. Yeah. Let's get this uh, tribal gathering. And let's see what the kind of units we can recruit uh, for our army now. Hmm. Just more marauders and uh, warhounds. Um. Let's go with one unit of uh, marauders and one uh, warhound unit. That's and uh, then uh, bat bat of uh, to ruination. Yeah, we need to get this uh, research started. We should uh, be able to afford, yes, just barely. That should be all for uh, this first turn. First turn, let's uh, go forward. Uh, 
There we go. And we're almost out of money. So let's take out uh, this uh, encampment. Actually, should I build uh, something here? We could... Uh, ah, we lack uh, necessary funds. Well, let's go and uh, get some uh, funds and attack a personal in camp. This will be easy fight. Uh. Now, I'll be doing uh, with these uh, battles uh, that uh, I will be play all of them. I don't really like uh, this auto resolve because uh, it's a uh, little bit uh, too much uh, skewed uh, towards uh, Victor, even despite all the circumstances. Uh, so I'll be fighting all of, of these battles, but uh, I'll uh, I won't be showing the uh, most easiest ones, uh, except maybe this first uh, battle I will be show everyone. But uh, in the future I will only. So those that uh, will be interesting, uh, and uh, those uh, that are uh, like uh, this, uh, quite even, quite uh, much uh, in favor of one side, I will most likely cut off, but will be fighting them anyway. But anyway, let's just uh, start this battle. One other thing I want to say is that. I won't be pause. Uh, I won't be pausing uh, in middle of fight, uh, so it will be much more interesting. I'll have to be ready for all of uh, all that happens on battlefield. This should be quite an easy fight. Nothing too dangerous on the enemy side. Hmm. This is uh, one of the uh, new mechanics. Uh, they added, uh, you can uh, gamble for uh, wings of wings of uh, magic that uh, will be used uh, for, uh, well, of course, casting uh, magic uh, spells, and I think Archeons has uh, some of them, but uh, this is a uh, so nice amount uh, that I'm not going to gamble this time, but if uh, it's going to be lower than that, uh, I will definitely going to be gambling. Anyway, let's just uh, let me just set up uh, my army here, and then we'll be right back. And welcome back now. I chose to do a little bit of uh, one uh, strong center with uh, four hounds uh, and uh, chaos spawns uh, wings, while my marauder, marauder horsemen will be harassing uh, enemy while we while we march uh, toward uh, them. But without further ado, let's just uh, start. Also, I'm keeping uh, my marauders uh, in the st center here first, since uh, if I remember lore right, they will be... they will be... Need, they need to prove themselves in battle first, so they will be first in and uh, last one out, and uh, using uh, warriors then uh, to sweep up the enemy. Anyway, let's just start this. Oh. Of course I missed that. I need to do a little bit of uh, rearrange, rearranging here. I, uh, I made mistake there. Oh well. Basically, I forgot to lock uh, these uh, 
this uh, in place and let's send a magic missile on an enemy's uh, general unit. There we go. That should help. Now, of course, I need to move my. Marauders charge now. Archeon, don't stay behind there. Attack from there. Go pepper them. Same goes them. Now, Chaos Bone. Go after those Marauders. Attack on the, them, their sights there. And pepper those. Charles on the back to the uh, finish uh, this uh, off uh, nicely. Why are you staying so far behind? Ah, here comes Chaos Bones. Ooh, nice flight there. Yeah, usually be these battles that are. Uh, so easy and just mopping up. I'm not going to bother sewing this, but uh, this one time I'm going to do a little bit of XP. XP. What's the word? Oh! Well, they were Warhound just. Those Marauder Horsemen will be annoying. Just uh, let's regroup uh, our main group here. All right, I should uh, try my. Winds of Magic on that Marauder Horseman group. Archeon, anytime now. It seems to be a bit too far. Those hounds will be. can be sacrificed. Get back in fight there, you. And apparently I hit something else too. Ooh, that was nice. <laughs> now, just need to run down these groups here. Just charge them. Where is that Archeon? What are you doing so far behind? I need to get you that horse uh, as fast as possible. Can you cast that? I'm going to hit my own troops. <laughs> well, blood for blood, blood. Skulls for a skull drone. Just this uh, one last group anymore. There we go. Easy victory. Let's just end this battle now. You are victorious, of course.
and yeah, not uh, too much challenge there. Decisive victory, loot uh, over thousand, then uh, I got a new weapon. I I'll have to equip that. And what to do with this uh, encampment? I kind of want to sack it uh, to get some uh, extra loot, but uh, I also been thinking maybe I should uh, awaken uh, this tribe so I can uh, get one military ally. ally. Hmm. Yeah, let's uh, awaken that uh, tribe. Sword of, sword of si Swift Slain. A sword of uh, silver that never dims. When used in anger, I can't even speak. Once again, when used in anger, the sword arm of its owner darts forward before an opponent can even raise their guard. Charge bonus, oh great, and melee attack. That's good. Definitely something I will be using. Now let's uh, encamp for a moment and see if can we. We're still lacking some funds uh, for that, but uh, we're going to upgrade our trial pit. No, triple relic to trial pit. To prove their might, it, they to prove their might, they fight in the trial pit from which only the chosen emerge. Upkeep uh, for marauder units uh, much lower, twenty percent. Now let's see, check out our technology here. Scrutiny of the Dark Gods, uh, 5 turns. Recruitment cost, uh, post battle loot amount. Hmm. Skulls for the Skull Throne. Corn desires skulls, so gift, uh, gifts his followers with the initiative to find them. Every single one. Post battle loot amount plus 10%. Of course, we are going to need that. We are going to be fighting uh, plenty of battles. And... We need to get a little bit extra growth. Uh, so we can build blasphemous icon. And uh, start uh, recruiting chaos warriors ourselves. Anyway, let's just end this turn here. And uh, then, oh, right, I completely forgot to equip my sword and uh, also assign that skill point. Actually, I already got that equipped. Oh well. Anyway, <laughs> See, then uh, what uh, do I want? Uh, should I get the uh, campaign movement range? I don't uh, feel like it's necessary, but... Should I go more of fighting uh, type of... Uh, Arcane or more spell. Hmm. Reduced cooldown on that fireball spell. It uh, gives us access to the burning head, so I think I'll be going for uh, that. Going to do some uh, mix uh, of these two pathways. pathways. And next turn. Okay. And can we make anything yet? Nope. So let's just uh, continue to frozen landing. I should be able to get the encampment set up here. So I can uh, recruit some more uh, for us. Marauder horsemen or marauder horsemen with throwing axes. Uh, what's hmm. armor piercing missiles there? 
or can I use marauders with the uh, greater uh, weapons or poisonous uh, four arms? I think I'll go with the view of uh, these uh, marauders with great weapons. Most likely will be replaced uh, soon enough, but for now. And I'll be going to ask Pierceling. No, no, there's that. Why do you come to the frozen north? Never mind. Doesn't seem like I can do some anything with them. So let's just end this turn. And next, let's uh, attack a frozen landing. Okay, nothing new here. Let's just uh, start this battle. And like I said uh, at the start of the last uh, battle, I will be most likely cutting an uh, actual battle off here. And uh, just uh, cut uh, to end results. Especially if it's uh, as easy as the uh, last one. And a nice uh, amount of loot here. Somewhat, uh, well, really easy fight, uh, to be honest, so very much likely that I want to be so in this fight. <sighs> Only lost a little bit over 100 troops. And this time uh, I think we are going to be... Yeah, just uh, sack this. <laughs> Scroll of shielding, let's uh, make sure we have... There we go, and it's... Upon the scroll of shielding is crude the drawing of a warrior shield displaying an unknown crest of a kingdom long lost. Plus 22% damage resistance. Definitely going to be useful, but now let's get that uh, skill point assigned on... Uh, hmm... Yeah, let's get this the burning head. A cackling flaming visage appears before the wizard. With a gleeful uh, screech, it swirls around uh, the battlefield, emulating anything in its way. Yeah. That uh, that has been looked... Uh, that has... Uh, that... Uh, uh, messing up uh, my words here. That has uh, been looking uh, really amazing when I've seen it... Uh, on uh, those uh, other videos about this game uh, before uh, this uh, release. And uh, this is one of those games I'm not, uh, I wasn't planning originally to do uh, as blind one, uh, so I know pre pretty much uh, quite a lot about this already. Anyway, I think we're going to just end the turn here. Yeah. And let's quickly check out our army situation. We could uh, upgrade our warband. Or horde to warband of chaos. Yeah, I think we are going. Never mind. Uh, first, we are going to move and then we will uh, upgrade. Or yeah, let's just continue. We might be able to use that uh, as a little extra income later on. Just a little bit more, and that was uh, too far away. 
Oh well, we can't uh, just get built that then. Okay. Let's end our turn here. And we got a dwarf army incoming. Ravage the drone. A dwarf drone comes, slaughter them all. Defeat following Lord's army. It's that one. And we get the leader's bonus as reward. Hmm. Well, uh, since uh, it's going to be a bit uh, far away, I'll be moving over there first. And encamp. So we can uh, build uh, this one here. And next turn, we are going to attack that uh, dwarf army. It should be easy pickings there. Let's just get these. Uh, Warhound army here, or more like Warhound unit with poison, and then one more great weapon marauder. That should be all for this turn. Let's head on to next one. Oh! We are definitely going to take uh, this fight, but uh, like I said, this uh, seems so easy. Just uh, that Lord alone. This is a uh, cake for. Yeah, that was a way too easy fight. Just one at war. Although, he did manage to kill two of my guys, so. <laughs> but on the other hand, it was a uh, Lord, so. Of course, it uh, was a little bit better than uh, regular troops. I completely forgot to check what uh, I actually got there, but... Kasadini Crones died. And... That was a well... Way too easy mission completion there. Anyway, I think uh, this uh, might be a good place to end... Uh, End uh, our episode here. I'll uh, just give uh, RK on uh, that skill point and then we are going to end it here. Let's uh, go with Eye of the Gods. We are going to need uh, to put uh, RK on uh, in front lines uh, sooner or later, so better keep him uh, ready to fight. Nothing new there and no. no. That should be this uh, for now. I will be seeing you next time. Goodbye and uh, let's see how fast uh, we can uh, conquer this world as chaos. Anyway, goodbye.